Flooding and mudslides severely impacted the Coquihalla Highway in November and construction efforts were anticipated to take months to rebuild. But crews have been working around the clock in order to reopen this essential highway to at least single lane traffic by early January. We're here in Mine Creek Curves where we had multiple locations where Mine Creek rose. You'll see where it is in its original bank behind me now. But during the atmospheric river event, it rose up and uh, caused four of our culverts to fail and washed out four fairly significant segments of the Coquihalla. Uh, and as you can see here behind me, what the crews are doing is they're putting in significantly bigger uh, culverts and pipes to restore this highway. So 200,000 cubic meters of, of fill and material has been brought in on this whole northern section of the corridor. And that's equivalent to about 20,000 plus truckloads of, of material moved in, in just three weeks. All of this work is temporary. We realize that this is a temporary fix. This is not designed for our, our full uh, full blown bridge design. This one has been done exceptionally quick to get it built uh, and traffic running on it. So far, uh, we've been able to get everything that we need to get this temporary construction uh, completed. There's gonna be a significant section that's gonna have a single lane uh, travel in either direction and some crossovers, but uh, but we'll be pretty happy to get this reopened for our commercial goods movement in early January.